Welcome to Morning Message for July the 21st. I live fairly near, in fact, quite adjacent to the Charlottetown Airport. And last evening, a large plane took off, larger than usual, larger than what we normally see. And it reminded me of a time that I was on a very large plane, um, or at least it seemed very large to me. Um, I was uh, in my early teens, uh, 13, maybe 14 years old, and uh, on my way to Newfoundland in the summertime uh, to visit relatives. And I was on one of those planes that had, I think, about five seats in the middle. And on the ends of the plane, I uh, had two, maybe three uh, seats. Uh, so it was a very large plane that I was on. And this was uh, back in the days when uh, young people and children could travel uh, on airplanes without too much supervision. Um, I suppose young children would have been accompanied by uh, a flight attendant. Uh, or someone like that. In any event, as far as I knew, uh, nobody was particularly taking care of me, and I was on this plane on my way to St. John's, Newfoundland to uh, visit relatives for a couple of weeks uh, in the summertime. Sharing my little section, I was sitting in the middle of the plane in those five seats. Uh, I was on one end, and in that row, uh, there was a family, a um, mother with three children, an infant, a toddler, and a child that was a little bit older than that. I must have been distracted at one point, you know, perhaps the flight attendant had brought that little packet of uh, dried roasted peanuts, and I was very appreciative of those peanuts, uh, and I expressed that uh, to the attendant, um, you know, with the motive, with the hope, that they would take pity on me and they might give me a second packet of uh, dried roasted peanuts. In the middle of me eating these uh, peanuts, and uh, really there weren't very many in one of those little packets, uh, so it wouldn't take very long, I noticed that the mother was struggling to get the table uh, in its upright and locked position. Uh, so always being the helpful sort of person, I, uh, I leaned over and uh, put the table upright and uh, twisted that little knobby thing uh, to lock it. And uh, quite proud of myself for being so helpful. Uh, she smiled at me and, and uh, perhaps wasn't quite as appreciative as I was even for that little packet of peanuts. And I must have been distracted again. Perhaps the flight attendant did slip me a second little packet and I was eating those packets. Uh, when I looked over and I noticed, uh, and this is just a couple of minutes later, uh, this mother had unlocked that same uh, table and had put it down and put a little packet of peanuts for her oldest child and a coloring book uh, for him to, uh, color, uh, uh, to, to color on. So I'd made a mistake. I thought she was trying to put the table up when in fact she was trying to get it down while holding a baby and trying to unlatch the latch and uh, stuff like that. And ever since then I've uh, kind of had it in my head that uh, I can't always assume uh, that I know what the answer is to a particular problem. I can't always assume that I know exactly how to help somebody else. I say that today because uh, you know, in Charlottetown, like in any community, uh, there's tragedies, there's things that happen that we wish uh, hadn't happened, and, uh, and uh, people are hurt and people are struggling with, uh, with all sorts of questions related to those things. And um, I can't speak to that particularly, because all of those situations are so, uh, are so different, and, and I may not have all of the facts. And I'm always a little bit reluctant to uh, uh, come to the conclusion or take on the attitude that I know all of the answers. But I think what can be helpful, particularly in terms of our faith, is the idea that um, 
Our faith is really about what's next. Um, our faith is really about helping us uh, come to terms with whatever our circumstances are and dealing with the uh, uh, with moving forward with the what next questions in our lives and hopefully and prayerfully uh, we make those decisions um, with a sense of uh, gentleness for ourselves uh, in Paul's letter to the Corinthians chapter 13 and you all know it probably by heart it's that chapter that gets read at almost every wedding um, uh, Paul's not talking about marriage when he writes those words uh, but they apply uh, what Paul's talking about particularly is community and how communities ought to get along and of course a marriage is a kind of community as well uh, so his uh, lessons apply there. But scripture also reminds us that we are to find some love for ourselves as well. So uh, Paul's letter, uh, chapter 13 of uh, Paul's letter to the Corinthians, the first one, um, speaks to how we can be with ourselves as well. Uh, patient and kind are amongst the characteristics of love. And that is the sort of thing that we can have uh, for ourselves as well. So as we move through this pandemic, as we move through whatever uh, changes and chances happen in our own lives, uh, we can take a message from our faith and uh, try and be patient and kind with ourselves. So my hope and prayer for all of you today is that you will be patient and kind with yourselves and uh, with one another and in the midst of it all find God's blessings. Amen.